Welcome to our lecture online. Our next postulate, postulate number nine, is basically the reverse of postulate number eight. Here we call it the three-point postulate, where number eight was the plain postulate. In number eight, we said that if we have three non-collinear points, that defines a plane and only one plane. So three non-collinear points, you can only have one plane that you draw simultaneously through all three points. In reverse, if we have a plane, then we can say that a plane contains at least three non-collinear points. So if you have any random plane, you can place three points on there that are not collinear as a minimum. But in actuality, of course, we know that a plane contains an infinite number of points. But we know that if we do have a plane, it will contain at least three non-collinear points and that's what we mean by postulate number nine, the three-point postulate. And that's how it's called.